Hi guys, welcome back to Battle Up With Life. This is Mujela Olua. Thank you all so much for celebrating me on the completion of my LLM degree. I'm very grateful for all the kind words. Thank you so much. Do well to watch the series. Uh, it's going to continue until we are done, until we get to chapter 5. So we've talked about chapter 1. We're going to continue chapter 2, chapter 3, and chapter 4 rather. It was a four-chapter system used in my school. So uh, in this short video, I just want to talk about facts judicially noticed. Facts judicially noticed need no further proof. That's the position of law in Nigeria and the world over generally. So you must have read this said in court or outside of it, that, facts judicially, that a fact is already judicially noticed. What does it mean? It means that that fact is so notorious or so widely known and accepted and agreed upon to be true and the correct state of things that you don't need to prove it further. You don't need to call a witness if you're using it in your case or if you're alluding to it, you know, in evidence, you don't need to tender further proof by calling a witness or by tendering documents. Facts judicially noticed need no further proof. Usually this applies to uh, rules of common sense or things that are just basic and generally known to be true or the natural state of things. For instance, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That's a fact that's been judicially noticed. If you're mentioning this in court or using it as a fact in support of your case, you don't need to bring proof to the court to prove that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It is generally accepted. The judge could look out the window and see the sun rising in the east in the morning and in the noon or afternoon, when uh, the court, if the court is still sitting, everyone can see the sunset in the west. So things like that. Also, it can be used for things that can be proven, but that can be proven by uh, generally agreed criteria that ensure accuracy. For instance, if you're saying to the court that a particular date is a day of the week. Say maybe something happened on the 24th of June, 1984, and you're telling the court that it happened on a Wednesday. You do not need to prove further because anyone can get a calendar, a 1984 calendar, and see that that date is a Wednesday. So generally, facts that are judicially noticed need no further proof. And this is because they are already proven by common sense, by natural laws, or by the ordinary state or order of things. I hope you understand it. I will see you in my very next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Toodles!